All right, let's get this shit on the road. Huh? How about that? All right, so enter. All right, so new game. You best believe it. Uh, logic? Like, what the hell is this? Mean? Okay, so it's literally easy, normal, or hard. Uh, I don't know, I kind of want to go mean. Should I, should I go mean? Or is that gonna be like too much for my simple mind? All right, that means I need to just keep it simple. All right, I'm gonna keep it simple. And just go with that. Getting all S and M -E up in here, bro. What? What the hell is this crap? That's pretty freaking awesome. That was freaking awesome. This janky bear, <laughs> janky bear be laughing at me, bro. <laughs> what the hell is this? All right. The massive high school tower is over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. Crap. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Am I right? There are two things you need to attend the school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students, was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. All right. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm psychic or mutant or whatever. Like. If you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average. I'm completely average. So, I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. 
That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary. But still, here I am, standing in front of anything but Ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like... It's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way, you know... What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the... Preparation. I did last night to get ready for today. Nope. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. Such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. For example, the incoming student was the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also lead singer for a pop group famous for all in the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. Look at this guy. Jesus. He was a cleanup hitter for the National High School Champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Got some crazy eyes, homie. Woo! Then there's the ultimate fashionista. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist. The ultimate fanfic creator. The ultimate gambler. The ultimate swimming pro. The ultimate programmer. The ultimate clairvoyant. And then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest. Top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just average students like me? Without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there is an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate school? High school. I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter that it sent me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. Oof. Brutal. As a result, you have been selected 
and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> Brutal. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand there in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I look down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step toward the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start till 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting, just standing around the waiting. Isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now so there shouldn't be any problem with me having to look around right it'll have me kill some time if nothing else trying to play cool i took my first step into hope's peak academy it was also my first step towards starting a new life at school at a new school at least that's what i was hoping for What the? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began and how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope Speak Academy wasn't because of the ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Welcome to despair. The prologue. Brutal. I mean, yeah, sure. I'll save. I mean, you know. Oh, empty. Sl How many empty slots is there? Seriously. up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? What the shite? Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy! Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. I gotta aim in this? 
Like, it doesn't look like anything. It looks like a freaking dating sim or something, bro. Like, come on. <clears throat> if you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the left mouse button. And presto! He'll investigate that object. Use the moving key buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Or you can press and hold the right mouse button and move. Oh, move the mouse around. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Ah, uh, yeah, I like that better. Yep, 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 yep. Wait. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. I have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? An orientation guide? Some kind of cheap looking pamphlet. And there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate is being bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it. <laughs> yep, definitely metal. Thick. Two. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? I better look around the classroom a little more before I head out. <laughs> Bruh. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is... I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall. And then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean... This is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then... If that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students here now. Yeah, I'm leaving that mother. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird, too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I just head to the main hall. Hold down the shift key while moving to run. I have to run? Also, you can press the tab key to bring up a map. I gotta walk around. Oh, Jesus. I can walk! Oh, wait. All right. Uh, come on, it was searching it. All right, there we go. Despair Hotel? I guess that's a place for people to stay overnight. But anyway, I need to get to the main hall.
Room 1B. The door's locked tight. The Spare Hotel? Guess this is a place for people to stay overnight. Yeah, I already read that, bro. Get out of here. The AV room, it's locked. Apparently not. Like, I didn't know I had to walk around in shite. That's, I mean, I don't know what to think about that. The school store, <laughs> I guess that's not open. Does it look open? Does that look open to you? No, no it doesn't, okay. The nurse's office. Off limits, it looks like. Bruh. That doesn't sound very good. The girl's bathroom. Not that it matters, but it's locked. Bruh. The gym. The handle didn't move at all. Alright, there's an open door over here. I'm just gonna go into that. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. The ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered here, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it. But I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Nagi. 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 <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened. And then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Whoa, you too? Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Look at this guy. So strange. I declare, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that this is a strange situation indeed. 15 million characters, these nuts. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly I had no idea what's going on right now. Got it. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me. Mikoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. What the fuck? I came an hour early. Like, what do you want from me, homie? To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? This guy needs to be, like, smashed in the head with a rock. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. Everyone, just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Uh. The hell? Now's no time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> Maybe. But it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost. But I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance. As good a chance as I'm gonna get. 
I already looked everyone up on that Hope's Peak Academy thread. Hold on. But I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at the student and press the left mouse button to talk. Each conversation is important to the overall story. So keep track of how they go. Are you f***ing kidding me, bro? I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on the thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for his work. He's done with the community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto. Naji, right? Naji? I don't know. That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right? This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Toko Fukawa. Ultimate writing prodigy? Those like black dot eyes are like creeping me the fuck out. Yeah. She wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. And then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pool. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovely, lovey-dovey type. Huh. <laughs> what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. What? It's not polite to stare, you know. What the heck? Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Really? Really, bro? Filthy creature? No, I just thought... I, I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No. That's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. But whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow. Talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Tiny hands. What the hell? Getting to know you. Oh, really? Ultimate pop sensation. Okay. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. 
as the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Huh? Hey, by any chance... Now what? Yeah, must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Ricardo did... Just hold on. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... Sorry, I just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not for bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. <sighs> Son of Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? This guy looks so angry. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Angry mother, I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter. The ultimate baseball star. And he has longer hair, I guess. And that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? huh? What's wrong? N nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball, baseball star and all... What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty-looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously. I'm like, mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not going to dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? you know. I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. Never practice? And he was still his team star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A uh, dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura. Am I right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar. And we're set. This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is, like, super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Look at this guy. Jesus. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. <laughs> Whatever you want, dude. Mm -hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. 
I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I'd tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I'm like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I'm a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Anagi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. Mm -hmm. What? What kind of meaning? Yes, it's about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Okay. Now I'll talk to those five people over there. Bruh? What? Homie, what? This surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. But there's no way that's a real gun. Right? Just call me Hina. Sup? Sup. Ultimate swimming pro? Alright. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even chosen, been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and, um, proportions has been widely discussed online. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Bitch. Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew it was something like that. Bruh. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it, here. I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Literally yeah. grabs hammer and bats into head. No, just kidding. Makoto, Nagi, Makoto, Nagi. She just kept repeating my name, moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Um, well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. All right, that's some positive notes, right? Oh God. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Fujisaki! <gasps> she's a programmer. This is definitely an awkward bunch. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry. I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time. Which is why I said, nice to meet you. Uh, oh yeah. Good point. Sorry. You, you don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Chiryu Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. 
She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her through the Legion of fans. Um, hey, so listen. Uh, I'm I, sorry. I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for? Um, well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah. I had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's great. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> Bray. <laughs> I'm glad. Starting to understand why her fans are so into her. That's three more biatches, seriously? Alright, here we go. Um, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Kirigiri. Jesus. Crime idea, that's a mouthful. Kirigiri. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope Speak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at the school? What's that supposed to mean? No, I, I just meant Getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Bitch. Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. No, no I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. What a bitch. <clears throat> Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance, like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Peace. Fashionista, this guy. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to her reality. What? Huh? Come on. Are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> well, of course. There's a totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? At least she's honest. Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back. With, like, computers and junk? Oh my god. Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Jesus. Totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a, <laughs> a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin, so it looks like all ceramic and porcelain. Oh, so many dreams are getting crushed today. Brutal. Oh my god, this guy's hair, bro. <laughs> Look at, look at his hair. What are those? No, I'm just kidding. All right. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Damn. Well, fuck. Nice to fucking meet you too, buddy. Bitch. This is an angry cunt, isn't he? Mondo Awada, huh? Which means big fucking cunt in Japanese. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a joke. He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. Oh, God. Now he's going to kill me. 
He's earned respect, even all from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. <laughs> ultimate biker gang leader. He's nuts! Ow! Um. Nice to meet you. Okay, I'm done. <clears throat> nice to meet you. Yo. Hell yeah! I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Fucking cement shoes, boy. My guy is part of the mafia. I'm telling you right now. That was it. Oh my god, more people! Ah! More people! Corey! Uh, they don't go away! Am I gonna have to go through 15 million people right now before I even get into the game? Is, is that is that what you were talking about? 15 million people? You weren't being sarcastic. 15 million... Come on, man! Those four over there are the only ones left. Okay, so that's not 15 million, but that's a whole lot of other people. Like, oh my god. What the f I am Sakura Okami. That's his voice! <laughs> oh. Coronavirus! No, like... That voice, though. Sakura... Ogami. <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay. Ultimate martial artist. Well, that's about it. Oh, jeez. I almost asked her if she was a guy. Wait. Wait, what? That's a girl? I mean... A... Beautiful woman. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember. She competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. I mean... I mean, the eyelashes kinda sell it, but... Come on, man! That nose and... That, come on, man. Alright. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. You know what? Go, girl. You go. The third also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Rude. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates. The famed Missing Link. Any incoming Hopes Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey, you. Huh? Yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod my body. Um, what are you? 
I had to. I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Bitch, please. Get the fuck out of here with your misconceptions, alright? I don't appreciate that. No, just kidding. <laughs> what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. What a bitch. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. <laughs> Woo! That's funny. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Bayakuya Togami. He's the heir. Apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations. And his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of ultimate effluent progeny? I didn't even, what? is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. Get the hell out of here. I want proof. That's everything I learned about him from Hope's Peak Academy thread. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Please, thank you. Thank you, I was wondering the same damn thing, my dude, just saying. Go away. Sick of looking at you! Damn, what a cunt. Alright. His aura says to me, You and I will never stand on the same level. Like a king in training. Don't be a bitch, dude. Seriously. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. My dude. That's what I'm talking about. Mr. Chill. Ultimate Clairvoyant. You can see shit, bruh. Ashiro Hakuge! Known as Supernova in the psychic community. The trend setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Ah! Okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. So what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in its mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewski sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see? And well, it's a long story. A few times, yeah. I bet it is <laughs> a long story. <laughs> oh my god, these guys are f this is these guys are a trip. I don't even know. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Ludenberg. Celestia Ludenberg. Yo. Ultimate gambler. This bitch likes to gamble. Celestia Luden. Huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me a real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. Guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. 
other than her obvious love for gothic Lolita clothes. Everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. Rude. I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of um, something. Hmm. Okay. Time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. <coughs> I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, well, you see... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened, and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? B but that's just weird. That every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit. Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. And that's not the only thing you saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? Yeah, bolted or something. But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. But there wasn't anything like that when first got here. What the heck? What's it doing there? Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something? Is it? What? What, like, a kidnapping? That's the most innocent I've ever seen that guy's face. Like, seriously. You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. But this is all just a part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? <laughs> Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me! You know what I mean. <clears throat> I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then, it began. Testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. <coughs> the voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. <laughs> I bet you will. Well, that was weird. What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. <coughs> he got out of dodge, homie. Hey, what are you gonna take off just like that? 
could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing is just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this wasn't real. You know? All right, guess I'll head out too. I wonder what they got planned for us uh, next. Uh... Damn, was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Oh, wait for me, I wanna go with you. <laughs> That's that. I'll see y'all there. Anyway. <laughs> Not that anyone cares, but uh, I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off to the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I'd had before. I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um, this, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However, maybe. But just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Uh, I guess she's right. But still, I'm kinda... <clears throat> no, I'm really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? All right, my guys. That's all for now. Thank you for tuning in. Please, tune in next time to find out what happened to Trigger Happy Havoc. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. Like, it's pretty cool. I mean, like, it's just like straight up story though. I mean, there's some gameplay, but it's like straight up story. You weren't kidding, graphic novel. <coughs> It's okay though, I like it. I catch y'all mothers later. Thanks for joining me, Beast. Thanks, thanks a lot. I say enough flip side, Beast. <laughs>